Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. Manchester United 2, Man City 1. What a performance. I mean, what a game. What a game. I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say. Where do we start? I mean, it was an absolutely amazing result for Manchester United. We also performed well. I mean, I think I thought we played really well in the first half, but second half we struggled uh, to contain Man City. And rightfully so, City got the lead through Grealish. But then we came back. We came back after going one, one down. I mean, it's not easy. Let's be honest here. It's not easy to come from behind against teams like Man City. I mean, Manchester City, they probably win all their games when they score first. So that's a really, really massive statement by Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag's team. Really, right now, people are actually considering United in the discussion for the title race. I'm not quite there yet. I think we can compete, but I don't think we have enough to actually win the league. But I think we can compete. This team could definitely compete. I mean, let's quickly just take a look at the the, the table here. Uh, I want to bring up the table really, really quickly. Look at this table now. United now, they close the gap on Manchester City. The gap is only one point now. Arsenal, if they lose, they lose tomorrow against Tottenham. The gap is only six points, guys. Six points and anything can happen. So it is really exciting. I mean, I'm really, really excited by that win. It's a massive, massive, like I said, it's a massive, massive uh, statement by United winning uh, games like the derby against Man City. The stats, I mean, you can look at the stats like in terms of ball possession. City dominated the game. You can see 70% for Man City, 30% for United. But goal attempts, shots on goal, they only had one, which is it goes to show you how we contained Man City. We contained Manchester City because they only had one shot. When have you actually have ever heard Man City only having one shot on goal in 90 minutes. I mean, I've never seen that happen. Really, I've never seen that happen. But yeah, we did contain them in terms of attempts, shots on goal. We, I mean, chances-wise, I, I think we created more chances. I think, I believe uh, we created more chances than Man City. I don't remember any click-cut chance that Manchester City created and actually missed. I mean, we could talk about the first half, first half. United uh, had a, a couple of chances through Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford had a couple of decent chances. I mean, both both occasions, I think he could have squared the ball to Martial, but he decided to go solo. And he was, I was actually frustrated with Marcus Rashford because I thought like in that moment, he wanted the glory and he wanted to just um, score for himself. But in that, in, that, in that moment, I think he should have passed to Martial. Uh, there were two incidents, like I mentioned. Um, second half, second half, City dominated us. Uh, ball possession-wise, also uh, game control-wise. They, they really controlled us in the second half. Uh, but we managed to, get, to, to, to come back. We managed to come back. That goal from Bruno Fernandes, look, I mean, City fans, they might be crying. They might say it's not a goal. I believe it's a goal. I mean, VAR reviewed the goal. Um, Bruno clearly uh, scored. Uh, I mean, Rashford was the, the the player that was offside, but Rashford did not touch the ball. Did he have a, a a play in part for that goal? I think he did. To be honest, I think he did, but he didn't touch the ball. He just ran towards the ball, and Bruno Fernandez just took over after that and just smacked the ball in the back of the net. I mean, wow, I was just jumping after that. Really, like, I didn't think we could we could actually come back. I predicted 2-1 in this game. Like, I predicted 2-1 before the game started. But after watching the second half, they completely neutralized our counterattack. Manchester City just completely controlled us. And I didn't like the fact that they were in control. And through that goal, basically, we came back. And after that 1-1... Who, who, if you ask anybody who looked like getting that second goal, it was us. And Garnacho also came in. I mean, Garnacho also came in and made a big, big difference. Uh, uh, 
in the second half. He created that second goal. So really big up to Garnacho actually from coming in and changing the game and impacting the game. We haven't seen that a lot at United. Players coming in from the bench actually, you know, impacting the game. But I'm going to quickly run down through the uh, performance of all the players. Uh, quickly, let me just start off with David De Gea. I think David De Gea used his feet more than his hand against uh, uh, Man City the same again. But he had he had nothing to save, really. Like, he hasn't done anything much. Juan Basaka was solid. He was solid again. But offensively, you know he lacks that quality to create chances. We, we struggled to create with Juan Basaka. But defensively, he was sound and solid uh, in, that, in that back four. Varane. Rolls Royce Varane, he's always a beast in that uh, center back position. He never, he never makes a mistake. Like I don't see Varane making a mistake. He's always given us seven out of ten, eight out of ten performance. Solid game by Varane. Luke Shaw again picked over Harry Maguire and Martinez. You can understand Martinez was on the bench because he still came back from the World Cup. He's still on the high. He still hasn't played that many games for United. After the World Cup. So because of that, Shaw started. But the big question is, Harry Maguire was not selected, which I really like. I don't want to see Harry Maguire being selected in that back four. And he should never play for United again, I think. I think he's finished at United, in my opinion. Um, if he wants to be a backup, he can stay as a backup. But I don't think he has a f any future uh, at United. Terrell Malasia, he competed a lot with Myers on that left-hand side. Did okay. I'll give him 6 out of 10. Uh, he was out of position for a uh, Jack Grealish uh, goal as well. So you can question that goal. But I think all in all, I think it was average. I would give him 6 out of 10. Casemiro. Let's move on to Casemiro. I mean, Casemiro is another one. Mm. He's, his role really changed slightly uh, with Christian Eriksen being used as a number 10. He tried to actually get United up the pitch, which is a little bit different to what he he, he was doing before. Before, Christian Eriksen was actually bringing up the ball to the front line, but this time, Casemiro was the one playing as a as a creative midfielder in this match. But um, he did fine. Now, defensively, Casemiro, you know he shielded that back four, he protects that back four like a like an army. I mean, he's he's always a beast in that position. And Casemiro, again, solid, solid game. Fred, nobody thought he would be selected, but Fred did okay. He gave us that energy. I know he got skinned for, uh, by De Bruyne early on, uh, but he's won a lot of duels, a lot of energy in the game. Fred, Fred, 8 out of 10. I think it was a solid game by Fred as well. Christian Eriksen moved to that uh, number 10 role that I talked about. Um, he did try to create a few things, but I think Christian Eriksen, not his best game today. I don't know. I don't know about you. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. By the way, let me know in the comment section who was your man of the match. And let me know if Eriksen actually played in this game well. I don't think I don't think he did. I really don't think he did. And because of that, he got subbed out. We, he got subbed out while we needed a goal. It just tells you everything you need to know. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, man, he disappeared in the first half. But in the second half, after that goal, he just comes comes to life. I mean, I think it was wrong to play him on that uh, right-hand side. I think he had one chance. He missed that chance. But all in all, I think Bruno was magnificent. And that goal was key. That goal was key for us uh, for getting back into the game. Uh, Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford is another one. I mean, Rashford has been scoring nine in a row now. I mean, he's been banging goals left and right, week in, week out. And Marcus Rashford, you got to give him, I mean, the applaud and the praise because he, he, he is carrying United at this moment in time. Anthony Martial is struggling for goals. Strugg he's struggling for form. But Rashford, Rashford has been flying. Um, 9 out of 10 for me. Martial struggled 4 out of 10. He didn't do anything up top. He didn't press well. He didn't control the ball. He didn't bring uh, the wide players into the game. He just he didn't do anything in this match. And similar to Haaland. I mean, Haaland was just a passenger. He didn't do shit in this game. But 
same. Martial didn't do anything. He got subbed off. And I think we 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 did well after that. Uh, he was just he was struggling. I don't know what's wrong with Martial. I mean, we, it's, that's a big concern. That's a big concern we have to worry about. Uh, Anthony didn't do much. Uh, he did okay. He came on in the second half. 5 out of 10 average. Garnacho did impress me, like I said. 7 out of 10. Lissandro Martinez, Scott McTominay, and Harry Maguire came on as well. But there's no rating for them because they play like 5-10 minutes. But yeah, but anyways, United, Manchester United is red. It is red tonight, people. It is red. And you better respect the badge. That's all I can say, City fans. And I'm really, really happy, guys. Anyways, that is my match reaction, guys. Let me know who was your man of the match. Yes, I actually didn't tell you my man of the match. My man of the match is Bruno Fernandes, I think. I know some people could say Rashford. I can understand he got the winning goal. But Bruno Fernandes, for me, was my man of the match. But do let me know in the comment section who you think is uh, deserves the man of the match. Who impressed you the most? Uh, did you like the lineup? Just let me know any questions you have. Let me know in the comment section and I'll I'll try to answer them. Don't forget to smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.